Yo, what is up you guys? It's Grim here, and welcome back to day two of the Redstone Academy. Last episode, we went over the basics of all components and just a general rundown of what they do. If you missed that, the link will be in the description below. I'd recommend just watching that to give yourself a little heads up of what every single component actually does. In this episode, we will be getting into how to tell if a block is powered and whether or not the powered block is hard powered or soft powered. Just a friendly reminder as well, the link to each world is in the description of the respective video, meaning that day one will be in the day one video day two will be linked in the day two video and so on and one last thing this series is also based on the bedrock edition of minecraft and the results may vary between versions however just know that the concepts will remain the same now with all that being said let's just go ahead and get right into it all right you guys so now we are going to be departing from the sort of voiceover kind of learning i did the last episode and this episode you will be learning hand on straight in person with me as I go through all of these various different things. Let's just go ahead and hop right into it then. So soft powered blocks. Think of this as filled with energy, but the only way to take it out is to use a tool. Now, here's what I mean by that, okay? So you see this circuit right here. You would think that it would work, but since th this redstone line going into this block right now, this is a soft powered block. Now, what that means is it has energy in there. It has potential. But you need to use an extraction tool uh, if you would like to say that to go ahead and take the energy out now this is what i mean you take a rest on repeater and then you go and run this soft powered line into the block soft powering it and that is going to go ahead and take all the stored energy in here and go ahead and take it out i like to think of this as let's say that you have a very introverted friend right and this is you right here you're the extrovert and what you're doing is you are taking him and taking him out of his bubble and you are getting him and convincing him to go ahead and uh, do whatever and then that lamp right there is signifying whatever this can also be done with a comparator as seen here the same exact concept applies as with the rest and repeater except for the comparator which we will get into the comparator episode but i will say this right now you'll see here that this is a signal strength of 14. the comparator is going to see that this block right here is going to be a signal strength of 13 because this counts as another piece of redstone so this comparator is going to see this as a 13 strength and go ahead and spit out 13 whereas the repeater is going to go ahead and repeat it so that is a full strength of 15 right here versus 13. if that sounds complicated i'm sorry there is going to be a dedicated repeater and comparator video coming out so don't worry about that yet don't even don't even think about it just worry about powered blocks right now all right and the next one is going to be a rest on torch now i was going to do an individual video on this but i figured that it was just not worth it because this is a very simple concept to understand rest on torches are what you would use uh, along with rest on blocks however rest on torches are much more common to invert circuits now with that being said uh, these can take inputs from soft power blocks to actually turn off so that is something very neat about rest and torches they are very versatile in making inverted circuits to where when it's off it's actually on and when it's on it's actually off all right so the next one right here is going to be hard power blocks think of this as an object that is overflowing with energy it will send power off in every direction without the need of a tool or extraction device now, to achieve a hard power block, you're going to need to use a tool that is actually going into the block, okay? That can be a rest on repeater. As you can see here, it is going to power this block, and it is going to power each and every single side of it. As you can see right here, wherever I place redstone, it's going to get powered. This also works with the comparator with everything that I said before. It will compare the input that was taken right here and go ahead and spit it out on the other side. And uh, we will get into that a little bit more on the actual comparator video. Another thing with the inverted circuits, we have the torches, right? Now the torch is technically a hard powering object that can be turned off by a soft power. So what you can do here is run a redstone line going into the block that the torch is on. As you can see right here, this redstone line is going directly into this block that is going to then unpower this torch. And the, the torch right here, I'm going to try and make this simple, is hard powering this block. As you can see right here, this block is directly above the torch head. So it's getting hard powered, which means that it is going to spit out energy which is powering this line that then leads down to this line into this. So when I turn this off, it is all going to become inverted and go ahead and turn off instead of be on when it is on. Now, just one more thing. I'm not going to get into it too much. I just want to throw it out there. Observers do hard power blocks just so you know for future reference. All right. Up next, it's just a little subcategory. I went ahead and added in rest on blocks and powering blocks. Redstone blocks do not pack energy into the, the blocks they touch, kind of like hard powered and soft powered. They sort of fill up the blocks with energy that can be uh, expanded on where soft power blocks you have to use a tool to expand. Hard powered is just it's overflowing. Now, you could say that 
the opaque block is taking what it needs from the redstone block and that it, it that he is not inclined to sharing so what i mean by that is it, even if he is powering the block right here it is not going to get taken out with the saw powered block because this block right here let's check let's check this out let's grab a redstone lamp okay he is powering okay this redstone lamp i don't know why i said he honestly but anyway, this redstone block right here is powering this block. However, the, the signal is not going to flow through because this block right here is just taking what it needs. It's not going to take any signal and share it with anyone. Same thing applies for if you try to use a tool to extract it. It's not going to take it out. However, this block is going to be powered. All right, so the next category we have is switches. Switches will always hard power the block they are directly attached to. So that means if you have a lever, you, it's always going to hard power it a uh, signal is going to be taken out in any direction without the need of a tool you can do this with buttons as well and you can also do this with pressure plates all right so this is this is where it starts to get a little fun transparent blocks these blocks will not allow any sort of signal to pass through now they do allow signal to pass through in a way but we will get to that in a second not right now though so what i mean by this is even if you hard power block with a switch itself, like we saw right here, switches, hard power blocks, right? These do not, no matter what, take an output. Like you can put input into it, but they will not produce an output no matter what. Even if you have it to where you use an extraction tool, nothing, or if you use an input tool, nothing will come out. I hope this makes sense because this can be very useful if you actually understand it. And by that, I mean, if you do not want certain lines to connect, but they are going into each other, you can place down a transparent block and they will not power each other and is good for using in very compact designs. All right, so the next one is a bit old school, but I guess it, it is still used. I still use it sometimes in contraptions my days. Uh, compact staircasing, nearly extinct due to the addition of the observer, but this is still a basic concept to know. Just this is also a very instant thing. So when you turn it on, it is going to be instantaneous versus observers, you know, having a one tick delay per observer, but we will get in that in the observer video. So basically all transparent blocks allow for compact staircasing as they do not break redstone signals. So as you can see right here, I'm just going back and forth, back and forth because this block allows redstone to flow through it. However, it will not get powered by redstone if that makes sense. So if I were to put a block right here and then go ahead and take out, uh, let's see, let's grab a repeater, take a repeater out right here. As you can see, it is not going to go ahead and power the repeater if I flick this on. Now, if I were to place a repeater right here, because this redstone line is going into this block, it will be powering this repeater, meaning this repeater will turn on. But the concept of this is that it is just going to be able to go up straight up without breaking and power your desired thing on the top up here. Opaque blocks, however, do not allow for this. So as you can see here, opaque blocks, they just, it, it goes straight in. And since this is a soft powered block, you cannot take a redstone signal out without using a tool which means that it, it just all gets negated and you cannot cut like you can't go any farther than the first level all right so next here we have a couple of circuits now this circuit right here let's take a look at it this is what i would call you know you can split circuits into two using this mechanic so let's take a look at the book you can run a soft power signal on top and take a repeater output from the soft powered block beneath i spell beneath wrong beneath to split the signals so what that means is, is as you can see here the, before we flick it on the lever is hard powering this block so this redstone signal is going to be taken out and then you move it upwards to power this lamp now what's going on here though is since this block right here that the redstone is running on is soft powered the repeater output from the bottom is going to take that and also power this block so when you flick it on you'll see it gets split into two different streams similar to this we have this one over here so let's take a look at the book you can hard power a block with a redstone repeater. That block can then take an output from any side, allowing you for, to split your redstone lines. Now, what this is saying is this block right here is being powered. So it's powering this receiver repeater. So it's powering this repeater, which is hard powering this block, which is going to give a redstone signal out in any direction. So that's up, down, left, right, forward. Uh, just not the side that the repeater was in. It will give off a redstone output to go ahead and split the line. So if we go and turn this on, it will split and lastly of course we have this one so yeah if you want to act smart you can do this however i am trying to teach you how to strategically power your blocks so hypothetically you can just run a line in here and it will go ahead and just turn on both the blocks however that's not the point of this exercise all right and lastly this is something that i definitely struggled with in the beginning it is how to actually run redstone lines now take a look at this book here Understanding redstone lines. Redstone only soft powers blocks, first of all, and then it will only soft power the blocks that is actually running on 
and directly into surrounding blocks do not get powered so what i would think of when i was uh you know learning redstone is this would hypothetically it would power every single block here when that's not the case so go ahead and just think which powered blocks are going to get powered here so if i flick the lever only these two get powered not the surrounding ones because look redstone is powering the block that it will run on it it is only powering blocks that it is directly running on and directly into and it will not power the surrounding blocks around it this can also be seen here so it, as i said before the redstone is only going to power the blocks it is directly on top of and running into so as seen here nothing gets powered besides the one it's running on because it is not directly running into any of these other blocks this concept can also be taken into this so you guys should be getting the point by now so you should know which blocks are going to be powered at this point so when i flick this on the blocks that are getting run on are going to be powered but this block right here is getting directly ran into so this one is going to get powered as well however the surrounding blocks that do not have any signal going directly into them or ran on top of them are not going to be getting powered all right and finally this is just a little example of showing a soft powered block going ahead and leeching off its power to everything however much like the redstone block they the surrounding blocks are only going to take what they need and not be opt to share anything so when i turn this on you will see all the surrounding blocks will get powered however if i were to take a repeater output from this nothing is going to happen if i were to take a repeater output from this however i am going to get an output because this is a soft powered block this block, uh, you could just call this an active block, meaning that it is activating with redstone. You know, it is doing stuff with redstone as far as redstone signals go. However, it is not able to carry a signal and output any sort of signal. All right, you guys. And with all that being said, that is going to wrap it up for this video today. Now, in this video today, I, what I want you to take from this is go ahead, download the link below or just, you know, watch a video and whatever and rebuild them in your world and just experiment i do not have any specific circuits or tasks or anything for you to build after this episode what i want you to do is learn and be very 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 familiar with all these concepts how exactly powered soft powered hard powered active blocks just how everything all revolves around each other this is going to be very very important when you get to like more complicated builds i guess i could say but just definitely learn this definitely learn this concept so go ahead and just take your time with this it is not a rush i have been doing redstone for over four years now at this point and i still learn stuff so with all that being said now i hope you liked the video if you liked it leave a like if you loved it subscribe Subscribe. stay tuned in this series is definitely going to be a good one go ahead and check out discord in the link below and patreon i always appreciate every single person that joins and with all that being said i've been grim and i'll see you in the next one peace out